Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you for all those Insta360 X3 uh, users uh, um, a different mounting alternative for the Cookie G35 and the utility blade. Uh, usually you used to um, get the roller mount with the utility blade and then take apart the roller mount and uh, get the housing, the separate housing for the uh, X3 camera. But now Kuki came up with a direct application. So it's basically a roller mount made for the X3. It looks something like that, that has the uh, little uh, screw to screw the camera directly in the bottom and just one passing screw that goes uh, all across the mount when you take it apart. Uh, compared to the two screws on the uh, usual uh, roller mount. So let's flip the camera and uh, have a look. Okay, so in the past, uh, recently, you when you got your uh, utility plate for your G35 and you wanted to mount any camera, like a GoPro, you get the roller mount uh, specifically, specifically made for your type of GoPro and you take it apart. You basically, you know, take those two screws off, these two passing screws that go all the way across um, the mount, you need to take that apart. And I already disassembled this previously. And you just need to take that and use those two side pieces with the top of the mount, like so, and attach them to the top of the base of the G35. So it's basically the same, and then you, you needed to use this in case, in case you're not using the, uh, the original roller mount, you use that for the uh, X3 and attach it to the top of the um, uh, base on the uh, utility plate. So that is, uh, and you can still use it for the uh, X3. Uh, it just, now they are, uh, Kuki came up with a directive application for all that. So you don't need that mount unless you want to use it if you already have uh, an, um, an existing roller mount now you can just attach this directly to the um, utility plate you take it apart it's just one passing screw you have the same configuration with your little notches there to know what angle you have and you attach the camera directly with the uh, uh, underneath the the, the um, tripod screw you have there it's the same configuration uh, it's just a direct application for the x3 uh, Insta360. So it's just, just the same. You take this apart, you attach the two side plates that um, are, uh, are on the uh, roller mount and attach them here like so. And I have another video of how to do this, um, but it's just, just kind of, you know, brief, just basically this is what you need and then whatever mount uh, in the past that you use for the X3 or for a different GoPro that goes up top. So that's how you install that on the Kuki utility plate. So it's the same case for this mount. You just need these two, three parts. This just one screw. This attaches to the camera directly. So super easy direct application for the Insta360 3X. Uh, and uh, you can use that with your Kuki G35 utility plate. So another detail to keep in mind is when you are tightening this uh, screw onto either your basic uh, roller mount base or the utility plate when you're tightening this, uh, make sure you're not over tightening it, that single screw or the two uh, in uh, passing screws that go under uh, on the uh, regular roller mount. These parts, uh, these two side plates here are made of aluminum and the screws are stainless steel. So if you over tighten that, it's gonna, um, you're gonna thread the, uh, the, uh, the, the part that the screws into it and you're gonna ruin the threads uh, and then you have to order a new part. So uh, just make sure that it's tight enough that you have movement, but it's not super tight because in time it's gonna, it's gonna ruin the threads on the plate. So just make sure you're not over tightening them because then, you know, you have to get a new one. For the regular roller mount uh, for the GoPros, um, the regular roller mount that you order for the Kuki G4 uh, or your previous models like the G3 um, or G35 as well, uh, the sink is the same configuration. You have the two screws, you have a brand new one here and you have the two screws. 
Um, and I had a question this morning about um, if that applies for all the roller mounts. And no, it's just for the uh, the one for the Insta360 X3, it has only one passing screw. All the rest of the roller mounts have um, uh, the two screws. So uh, it's just for the, uh, the one for the X3. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.